You know, Airtable is a pretty amazing tool, but some of the problems that occur when using Airtable is the fact that you may not be able to AI that thing like you'd like to. What do I mean by AI that thing? What I mean is that there's a disconnect between Airtable and amazing AI workflows that you can have on a daily basis. Lucky for you, that's exactly where Bardeen comes in. Bardeen is a simple and effective tool that can help you automate workflows with a few lines of text. It's as easy as texting your friend, and what's amazing is that we actually have a bunch of pre-built Airtable and OpenAI automations that we have together right here. I'm a big fan of content creation, and Airtable's a really great tool to aggregate that information within it and then analyze it, or another way around, you can post a lot of content with Airtable as it is a very useful tool for organizing content as well as straight up posting it through API connections. So just a little teaser for what you're gonna get by using this automation with Bardeen. You can see some of the seriously amazing comments that people are leaving and get a peek into their sentiment who the comment came from, how many likes it had, and then some other information about them, like their profile picture, when the actual comment was published, and more. Let's jump right into it. If you'll notice here on bardeen.ai slash integrations, we have a page that's set up to help you connect Airtable and OpenAI. Let's try it out. So say, for example, I wanted to get the sentiment analysis from YouTube comments and save it to Airtable. Let's click Try It. Immediately, if I want to make sure that I keep this, I can pin it and then from there, and I can show the details of what happens. So first we can scrape data on an active tab, get the sentiment analysis, and then add the data to Airtable. Let's try it. I can type the table that I'm looking for. So YouTube sentiment. And then what I could do within this is I could map up the different properties here. So let's change this up a bit. So the name could be the person, maybe that would comment. It could be a field for the actual comment. There could be an author link. So let's get a URL for the author link. And then I could do any more of these. So if I made some other fields I to map this up. And what's really cool about Bardeen is if I actually match up the names to what's in the Airtable base, it'll end up just figuring it out on its own. Then I can set the max number of comments. Let's say I only wanna pick five comments and then I can remember the inputs and I can pick only the specific ones that I'd wanted if I wanted to remember the Airtable base, but change the number of comments every time. So I can press save and run. Now, if I go to the Bardeen YouTube channel, what's up or not, and I click right here. Now let's take a look at this entire build in the builder. So we have, it's gonna scrape the data on an active tab. It's gonna get this sentiment analysis that's performed right here by OpenAI. And then it's gonna add data to those different sections that I mark down right here. Now I'm gonna run this playbook. Since in the background, I do have a video that we can get sentiment from. Make sure that all the fields look good to go. Grab a comment or two, and then press run playbook. And you'll see this is successfully added records to the database. We can click view and it'll go right to the Airtable base. And you'll see that we now have a sentiment finder. So bless you, bro, seriously, this is the tool I would pay for. Great model. Hashtag Team Bardeen. That's definitely positive. Six tutorial Bardeen automation will fit perfectly neutral. So you can see that it grabs the author link, bringing us to their YouTube channel. It grabs the image, the URL, so I'm on their channel. See the image is correct. And then for the comment, absolutely, look at this. Seven days ago, it's exactly what it was. So this is perfect and a great way for me to see how people are viewing my different pieces of content. So I can go to any piece of content and do that exact same thing again. I can go to Bardeen, check out this video right here and press and run my playbook. Now, if I want this to be remembered, I can just do YouTube sentiment and get this table to keep it. Let's grab five comments or whatever the most amount is, let's say three. And then I wanna remember the first input to make sure we always keep the same air table. Table, save and run the playbook. And then boom, it's gonna be added right here. I press expand, I can see this. A few things to remember when using GPT for sheets. If you refresh your sheet and you have a formula written, yep, that is exactly what was put within here. So easy to grab it. Absolutely love the way that this works. That's a really cool automation. You can get it here at Bardeen AI slash integrations, but what if I wanted to create content based on information that I found or content that I found from other creators? In Airtable, if I had a base that was for content, I could expand upon this base and just change it to content creation and then just add a table that I would call Twitter ideas. All right. Now, what you can do inside of Bardeen that's really cool is press option B. And you'll see right here in the magic box that while well, I could go to a specific page, I could put summarize a Twitter thread 
with chat GPT and save to Airtable and then let the AI customly assist me and build this playbook using our magic box. So you see in a moment that Loanis is gonna help us out and you'll see that it'll give you this where it says scrape data on the active tab, merge the text, get the summary of that text from JGPT and then add the data to Airtable. So let's take a look here and we'll see all the different fields that we would need and we can mirror this inside of our Airtable base. And now that I have a base that's matched up, I then can be done with this. I'm gonna find some content ideas that I think would help me out. So I know personally that Thomas Frank is an awesome content creator. I recently had this really fun Notion HQ challenge. So I could take this, open it up. Now, if I go to Bardeen and press this here, I can get the text from Twitter, scrapes it all. So now if I go into my Twitter ideas base, you'll see that I have the Notion formulas explanation. It completely summarized it here, which is awesome. So I also see when it was posted, the number of likes, retweets, the link to the actual tweet, his profile image, how many times it was quoted. Check it out, click on this guy, and it perfectly explained it. So all I would have to do is just go through Twitter, find different ideas, and then from there, I'm, I'm on my way to amazing content ideation summarization. So now I know exactly what people think about what I'm posting. I have more ideas on what to post, and all of this is done simply by going to this awesome page where we have all of these cool connections with Airtable and OpenAI. I really think everyone is gonna love these, so make sure to check them out. There are a myriad of different ones to choose from. If I press explore more, you'll see that it just keeps on keeping on. And if you're interested in more videos like this one, make sure to check out all of our other content here at Bardeen. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.